Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at Fedora Design Creator. And let me tell you something, if you're a designer of any kind, this is a must have for you. So we've booted into the virtual machine. This is Fedora. It's giving us the option to try or install. We're just gonna try it in live mode. And then close out. Now as you can see, you're met with the open blank screen. So you just go up here to activities, click on activities, it highlights everything down here, and then gives you your layout for your applications. Now this is what I wanna show you right here. Out of the box, this is what comes with Fedora Design Studio. You got contacts, weather, clocks, maps, books, your photos, videos, calculator, screenshot, help, characters, you got your terminal here, system monitor, settings, document scanner, text editor, cheese, fonts, audacity, backups, calendar, color picker, design suite info, design team info. Let's pull up the design suite info. There we go, it's popping up. Let's double click, go to full screen. And those of you who do not know, that's probably very few of you, but we'll go over this real quick because this is a GNOME environment. What a lot of people do is they will go into settings because they got the close button. They don't have the maximize or minimize button over here. If you don't know, like I said, that's probably few of you. All you have to do is go up into the bar up here and just double click it and it'll go to full screen or double click it and it'll go to minimize. So that's just something that if you didn't know, you do now. But this is the design suite information on fedoraprojects.org. Uh, Basically, what it's telling you, feature applications comes with GIMP, Inkscape, Blender, Darktable, Krita, Scribus, SparkleShare, Pitivy, and Gnome Color Manager. That's out of the box. You don't have to download. You, If you install Fedora Design Suite on your system, all that is there and ready to go. And if you are a creator, that is definitely something that makes your life a whole lot easier. So let's close out of that, go to activities, pull this back up and let's go to the next window you got diagram editor you got your disk usage analyzer you got your disks document viewer entangle font forge Kimic qt hug and batch processor pdf arranger logs libreoffice and press libreoffice calc there's krita there's inkscape hug in panorama creator hug in calibrate lens creator pitivy pomodoro problem reporting rhythm box Software Center, your Synfig Studio, To Do, your Tour, and then on the last page, you've got External and ZArt. But that's out of the box, guys. You have all of these great tools that you don't have to go and download, like Syn Studio. Let's pull that up. There it is. You're ready to go. You can get to creating. And it's got all your tables laid out for you. And let's go ahead and close that out and let's look at something else real quick. Let's go to second page. Let's pull up Inkscape. And there you go. You're ready to go. There's your color palette and your layout, and you're ready to start doing some graphic design. I'm very impressed with this. With all these tools out of the box, that is definitely, if you're a creator, that's something you're looking for. And this system right here is the one that the Fedora project uses to do all of this. This background you see right here was created in Fedora Design Suite. So that in and above itself is definitely impressive. Let's see what file manager we got. There we go. And it's just files. Resources, I've got three CPUs. It's presently running at about four. Uh, of the 3.1 gigabytes at rest, it's running 1.1 gigabytes, which is pretty good. I just did one on Dragonized Garuda, and it was running at 1.8 or 1.9. So at rest, this is really good for a GNOME system, especially with something that has this many tools on it. So let's close back out of that. Let's go see if it's got HTOP out of the box, and we can take a look at HTOP. HTOP, it does not have top. It does have top. So it's saying right here that there's a buffer of 1976, 281.7 free. And on top, it's saying 711.8 used. So it's even better when you pull it up on top. I like HTOP better, but I'm not going to install it for this quick review. So let's close out of that. Yes, let's close the terminal. Changing the background. 
see what other backgrounds we might have here they've got some beautiful backgrounds right out of the box you can set up your default applications I guess if you downloaded gnome tweaks and installed it on here you could change everything that you wanted to worry about but out of the box it's very impressive I like it um, let's see here you've got list of design tutorials let's pull this up they even give you a list on the design suite tutorials you've got them right here you can pull them up and it'll go through here show you how to do raster image editing in GIMP and Darktable, vector image editing in Inkscape. There's a full course of it. There's a full tutorial, 2D game art for programmers. You've got tutorials on how to use all of the tools that are in Vitora Design Suite. That is very impressive. 3D modeling, Blender Nation, Blender Artist, Blender Art Magazine, animation, Synfig Animation Studio tutorials, so you have all the tools let's say you know how to use some of them but you don't know how to use the others you just go click and you can be brought right here and it gives you tutorials on how to use all the tools very impressive guys so if you're a designer I would definitely suggest looking at Fedora design suite um, it'll be worth your time there are a lot of tools here to use there are a lot of tutorials to show you how to use them if you don't so if you are wanting to be a designer uh, you're wanting to be a photographer, you're wanting to be a video content creator, and you want to learn how to use these tools, Fedora gives you the distro to do it, and they also give you the tutorials to do it. So, I appreciate you all watching the video today. Do not forget to like and subscribe so you can be entered into the contest to win the ASUS ZenBook 14 that we're giving away on August 31st, 2021. I appreciate you all watching the video, and I will see you in the next video.